Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing more of the legend attacks with the Zap Lala. Alright, so today we're going to be doing the legend attacks with Zap Lala, but it's going to be a little bit different style of video where I'm going to go ahead and pause the attack. I'm going to explain my thought process my planning in the very beginning like a lot of this goes out in my head obviously and i don't fully explain it as i'm doing these hits and then we'll transition into the live hit so hopefully you do enjoy this type of video if you want more of this please let me know down in the comment section and i will be sure to uh try to create some more as well um but what i also want to cover before we that before we do that if you take a look at the clan that i'm in right now it's bro so hard i'm over here trying to help them push to champs one because they're in champs two so and you guys are probably wondering carbon why are you warring with them and not orphan or ocean well ocean oasis is currently in masters one and there's 30 people in there so they definitely have that handle they can take care of it i fully believe in them to help try to get to champs three there because it's a 30 v 30 so we're already using a ton of people there and then over in orphan right now we're not running there because we didn't have e either enough people that were available at the time so right now we're not doing orphan even though it did make it a chance one if you guys saw the previous videos definitely go check that out of last month's cwl it was a lot of fun but who's in our group here for bro so hard that i'm trying to help them push to champs one and maybe next month or who knows in the future i'll be able to help another clan that are one of you guys here that are a viewer of the channel but if you look at this whf jordan i don't know who this is um but whf interesting level seven clan that's uh pretty funny there but maybe you guys know some of these clans here one or two or one out let me know down in the comment section if you know any of them but i'm using both my accounts here in this war i'm number 14 and number three there on uh bro so hard so they've been just struggling to try to get to uh champs one let's take a look at the war log here because we ended up or orphan esports ended up facing them in the may cwl we finished second they finished third and you can see here they finished still in champs two champs two champs two champs two so they've been in a champs two rut from like every month they just unfortunately are not able to promote to champs one so i'm gonna try to help them this month and remember i'm gonna bring the videos at a later date next week because if i fail on bases i will build them and i'll bring you guys fix the fail kind of style but anyways with that said let's go ahead and jump into these videos or i should say these attacks of these live streamed attacks over on my twitch channel and let's see all right so let's go ahead and break down this base right here and when you're doing the zap lalo what goes through my mind first is that clan castle you really want that cc down which is right here and you notice there is the one diagonal i believe you can actually take down a clan a eagle and a clan castle if there's two diagonals through here and you'll be able to take them down but there is just the one space which means you can drop the lightning spell right on here and take both these down. And then if this queen gets close enough to here, you can take her down. So what you really, really want to prioritize is taking that CC down. Because if you don't, what happens? Potentially that CC will come out and fight you. You're taking a risk, which I've done sometimes, and it's backfired. Sometimes it's worked. Where you're think maybe thinking there's like a Lava Hound, Ice Golem, and things like that. But nowadays they're putting Headhunters in defending CCs, which makes it super difficult. So... What I want to do is always try to go for this clan castle. So I would go for the CC, the eagle right here. And then look, you can also get the expo. You can get the grand warden tower and the queen all right through here. So look at this value. So if I take this down, what's the next, next objective? Well, if we look at the air defenses, we got air defense here, 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 and here, right? So we got sweepers that are pointing both this way. So kind of it's symmetrical at this point, except that the town hall is over here with a scatter shot. So then I'm thinking, all right, well... If I can lightning this, take out the eagle, take out the clan castle, the queen, air expo, ton of value. I can drop my king, get him to run like this down that way. Drop like maybe a baby dragon helps set the funnel. But as the king runs this way, I can then walk the queen like this. And then I can try to wall break right into this compartment right there. So my queen can then step up and get the town hall. While the king clears this, I can drop my royal champion onto the cannon. And she can go and get the scatter shot because that can be a lot of value. So if this stuff goes down and then the Royal Champion gets the scatter and the Queen steps up and she gets the Town Hall and this Expo here. So what will be left right after all that value? Well, we have an air defense here, air defense here and air defense here. Well, we can fly our way like this around the base or we can fly our way like this around the base. Right. So basically, 
But the queen can help step up, grab the town hall, grab whatever else. I can drop like a stone slammer to move into here because the royal champion is down here. Since the RC is right there, I need my stone slammer to help take her down if I don't kill her off with my heroes, which I don't think so. So the stone slammer can help take her down and then I can start the flight with the hounds and the warden up around the base just like that and then finish up in this section by this by this air defense here. So that's the plan, right? That's what I want to do. I have headhunters. It's it's Legends League, so you just you take what you have and you cannot. It's a cookie cutter army. So that's the plan, right? You zap, you zap this. I want the queen to get the town hall and then the pathing. So then all this stuff can go down. The new pathing will be, let me put it mark it in red, will be like this for the Lalo, just like this around the base. And we're gonna move our way like this. And the stone slammer will come here one because of the raw champion and two because there's no air defense down here so the stone slammer can get a little bit more value so let's go ahead and see how the hit goes all right so where's the queen the eagle is next to the uh cc so get that cc down and the eagle tunnels over there could maybe damage the queen if she gets close creepers are there i could probably wall break and grab the town hall I killed the queen from that angle. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Oh, king, don't go around. Oh my god. Where are you going, King? Why is it opening this wall? How do I even activate the town hall? Baby dragon? Where's the royal champion? Oh, she's right there. There's a lot left on this base, though. Twenty seconds. Is it enough? Headhunter, take out the mortar! Don't die! Oh, headhunter. Why'd you do that? Eight seconds? No, another time fail! Oh, man! <sighs> Here's the next base that we're going to hit, and what's going to be the plan on this one? Well, if we notice we have... The CC, right, you really need to try to zap that CC and try to get whatever else value you can. But look what's near that clan castle. Air defense, air defense, sweepers, sweepers, right? Both the sweepers are pointing down south on the base. The queen's over here. So you need to figure out a way to kill the queen, the royal champion, the clan castle, so then you can start the Lalo. And that stone slammer with the dragon is meant to kill the queen or the royal champion in that process. And so 
I can drop, because I have seven lightning, right? I can drop like four on this side, three on the other side. Why not why not kill off the Royal Champion, right? Why should I why shouldn't I just drop seven right here to kill the RC off? Well, because if I drop five or four and then three, right, and an earthquake, I can then take out the sweeper, this sweeper, air defense, air defense, clan castle, and potentially one of the ground expos, right? That's way more value like this, so that one, I don't have sweepers pushing me back. But two, I also have those air defenses down, so then I have two air defenses on the top side, so I can start flying my way from either side up and around to that Eagle Artillery, which means I'm going to want to sweep down here for the Town Hall. So what do I do? Well, if I lightning on this and take all that down right there, which then I will sweep into the bottom side down here, which will help kill off the Queen, I send my Royal Champion, the King, the Ice Golem, everything down here, and then the Queen, because there's a ton of stuff. And I need to get my queen to get this town hall down. And once this town hall and scatter shot to go down, then I can start my Lalo moving in here. So now if this air defense is down, where do I drop the stone slammer? Do you remember from the previous hit? Well, I'll drop the stone slammer somewhere where there's no air defense and it can get into the royal champion or queen. And here's the royal champion. There's no air defense down here. So in goes some balloons and then the stone slammer will follow in to hopefully then be able to pop over the top of the royal champion to kill her. And then we start the flight with the warden around the base just like that. So that's the plan on this one. Let's see how it goes. All right. Where's the queen? She's over there. And right, we're going to go one, two, one, two. Take you out. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Got that. There you go. That was really easy. Put everything right next to that clan castle. Makes it super easy. Savage Kings. Alright, so here is the next base that we want to do. And what is it? What do we look for? Remember, number one. The clan castle. We want to take that down. What's the value right next to the clan castle? Well, we have a sweeper pointing here. We have a sweeper pointed here. All right. So pretty much it's telling me that you want a Lalo like this around the base potentially because of the sweeper positioning, right? Because the one sweeper is like that. The other sweeper is like that. That will be the best Lalo pathing right through and around this way. Okay. So where do I want to drop the lightning? Well, I noticed that's one, if I drop all seven lightning around the clan castle, I can take out defenses around it. 
So if I drop five on this corner, it's going to be able to take out the air expo, the scatter shot, the CC, and I drop two more on this corner right here. And then I take down that sweeper. So now this sweeper is gone. The only sweeper that's left is going to be pointing over the town hall. So if I can lightning, I can lightning all of this. Look at that value right there. Okay, I can take that value down. Okay, now what? Well, now if I want to try to lalo this way, where? what's the biggest threat remaining? What section? Right? Well, this section over here. Right? This section right here would be the biggest threat remaining, other than obviously the queen and royal champion that can fight back. Because I want to lalo this way, I need this section down over here. So, if I can do that lightning in the very beginning, then I'm going to want to drop my king pretty much probably like right here, so he can go here 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 and maybe he can run down here either he goes this way or he goes this way right and i'm gonna drop my queen behind so my queen she can then step up and grab this air defense and then she can grab all of these trash buildings and then if, if the king goes this way that's fine he'll grab that i'll send my royal champion in to take out this single target inferno hopefully take that down take out whatever value so now for my heroes all of this will go down from the lightning and my heroes right all of this now what's left well the bottom side is the only stuff that's left. This is the pathing, path right? That I want to create for towards this town hall. So this is where I want to go, right towards the town hall. So I got to fly my way into this first air defense right here with the hound. Since the queen's over here, I'm probably going to want to drop a stone slammer moving my way into here to get to this queen. And then have another hound kind of move my way to protect that stone slammer so that it pops right over the top of the queen. And then we make our way and finish over the town hall. It's a risky attack. But that's kind of a broken down. Hopefully it works. Hmm. All right, let's see what I can do. Um, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do in here. Nice going queen. Well champion. I want him to go after the Oh, it didn't take out the single? I thought the RC with the the earthquake could take it down. No? Oh tunnel did activate. Hmm. More ground skellies? Peace. Okay. Oh, that freeze missed it. Oof. The sweeper. Is it time? 
I need to split. Go to the skull stores to the left. They do. Oh. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oof. Close. All right, next up, we've got a base where the clan castles all the way top at 12 o'clock. So now I'm thinking, all right, what's my what's my objective here? Well, I can either lightning the eagle and get uh, some archer towers, grab this. But then the clan castle is standing and the clan castle is standing right next to the enemy queen. So again, I'm going to go for the clan castle and then I'm going to drop the earthquake hopefully away so it doesn't activate the town hall because I don't want that town hall activated and then instead of sending my ki my king and queen here because okay what's gonna be the value that they're gonna get they're gonna get the town hall okay that'll be good but then look look at all this stuff that is up that will be a nightmare for the Lalo and it's just I can't go for the town hall because I need better value so what I want to do is I want to drop my king here to charge this way and I want to wall break this wall with my ice golem queen and then Royal Champion, and pretty much I want to take out all of this with my Tui heroes, right? If I can take all of this down, now what's the pathing left? So maybe she can even reach over the wall, grab the, oh, grab the mortar and that cannon. So then the pathing then becomes, I can now lalo my way around the base like this, and then finish on the town hall over there. I know it's risky, but that's going to be the plan on this one. Otherwise, if I just go for the town hall, I won't get the value. I need a big chunk out of this base down so that I can lalo around and finish here because both sweepers are pointing over the town hall. So that's the plan as you move in. And look, there's no air defenses down here, right? The air defense is here and air defense here. So what am I, where are my Sloan, where's my stone slammer? I can't speak. Where's the stone slammer going to go? Well, the stone slammer will hopefully come down on the bottom side towards six. Because there's no, it will kind of act like a lava hound tank for those balloons. And hopefully it'll come down here. And then the hound, because otherwise if I drop the hounds, yes, they'll fly all the way across. But I need my stone slammers to help the stone slammers, the stone slammer to move in. And then we can finish on the town hall on this one, hopefully. Thank you out. And we're gonna not go for the town hall, but we're gonna do this. Watch. We send the king here. I go queen. Look at that king. He came right back around. <laughs> That's hilarious. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting, king. How you decide to do that. Where are you going, queen? We're gonna go next. Going for the damaged wall, okay. Up your ability. Cannon. Wizard Tower. Eagle. The only issue here is the town hall. The loons are pathing right around. All the red air bombs. All the red air bombs. Oh my gosh, pups, take out the town. No, the tornado trap. Oh no. The classic 99. 
No! Dragon Warden, take it out! Dragon! Wow. They just went right around. All the red air bumps. Hmm. I should have earthquaked it, huh? Getting 99% one star is... Is an achievement, okay? It's tough to do. It's tough to do. Oh, I've never hit, hit on this base, and this one's got... And for the final one we have right here, we're going to hit this. I've hit this before with Sui Lalo, and I've hit it with Queen Church. I hit it with Electron. I've hit it with a bunch of different attacks, but I've never hit it with the Zap Lalo. And then look at this. We got multi, multi, and a multi. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Well, look where that clan castle is, right? We got the clan castle right next to two scatter shots. Hmm. Okay, two scatter shots. So we could drop like five lightning spells on the, these two scatter shots. Take out the scatter shots. Take out the clan castle, and we can drop two more to take out the sweepers, right? Okay. And then where do I drop my light? Where do I drop my earthquake? Like try to drop it so I don't activate the town hall. Actually, no. Not in this scenario. I'm gonna actually use it to take the damage the town hall, which then will also take out the scatter shots there. So this case, yes, I'm going to use the earthquake on the town hall. Because I want that to be damaged so that I can then send my hero straight in to take out the town hall. Royal champion can move in on this side or this side, whichever way the queen doesn't go. And then hopefully the this air defense, this expo, all of this will be down from my Sui Lightning. All of that. I don't have to deal with the CC. And then I will then fly my way from the from the top side, hopefully, right through the base like this, and move my way across down and and so like that. And then hopefully the Stone Slammer will pop right on top of that Royal Champion with the Dragon to kill her off. Because we got one, two ground expos that won't fight. Because we have two air expos that will hopefully go down from that Sui value. And then we Lalo right through the base just like this. And we kind of try to push through. So hopefully we can get this one here in the very last attack. You know what? Let's try this. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And we're gonna we're going to earthquake the town hall. Okay. We're gonna go you, you, you. Ugh. No more spells, though. You're gonna avoid the eagle? My warden's being a tank, though. He's the one that's aggroing the eagle shots. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can leave the ego for last. That might work. Yeah. 
<laughs> wasn't pretty. Wasn't pretty. But it worked. The pups killed the world champion. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember, if you did enjoy this style of video where I broke down these attacks before I went in, make sure to let me know down in the comment section of this video. Remember, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe down below for the daily contents. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Carbon Finn, signing out. Peace.